They don't invite me to their stuff. I did invite you. You said you don't want to go. Why are you lying? You don't want to go all the way up to the eyebrow, but kind of just give it this lifted effect. Uh, yeah. I did not stop. At the end. Every uh, single time I heard you read those like a bunch of snot. Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So Carly and I just did a little Target run. It was so loud in the store. I started filming some clips and then I gave up because it was just so loud. So we're just gonna start out today's video with a little haul. It's already kind of late at night. We really didn't do anything today other than I worked out. Carly filmed a video for her channel. I finished reading that Wish You Were Here book by Jodi Picoult and I'll have my review up on Instagram if you want to see what my final thoughts were on that book. So, you got two of those? Yeah, oh, so I stocked up. This is like my Bible in the winter. <laughs> I, I love I put this that in stuff. My back too, but I feel like it doesn't do anything. I just love it. Just the idea of putting it in there that makes you feel like it does something. Sure, maybe. Do you feel like it genuinely makes you feel different? Yes, that How? makes me sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I just like it, so I got two of these. It's a huge yeah. bargain. You could. I almost placed an order online, and then it was going to be shipped. This could take like four days. I'm like, this is silly. I just need to go to Target. And of course I bought way more than what was on my list when I was online shopping, but are you gonna come show them some stuff you got? Or are we just gonna take turns? All right, and then I got these too. So the, that, the Epsom salt is great for sore muscles. Supposedly it has melatonin in it, whatever. This is the stuff that makes the bubble bath. Because I gotta have bubbles too. I thought that so you was have to use both. Like oil stuff. And <clears> when I took a bath in your breath, I put it in there. So I thought it was just oil. Uh -huh. And then it starts foaming everywhere. So I got a new kitchen brush thingy because ours is just, I don't know. You gotta replace them every like six months or so. They just get gross. Q tips. These are by far the very best pens in the whole world. I use them every day. And they're just starting to get to the point where Dull. they're drying out a little bit. Okay, so I got this uh, Vital Proteins Collagen to add into my protein shakes every morning. You guys know I use Clean Simple Eats for my protein, which, hold on a sec. They sent me another bag of protein for January, and they sent me my favorite flavor. I just, I recommend the brownie batter if you like a chocolate protein shake. <laughs> And then an offbeat butter. This is just the classic peanut butter. These are great in smoothies, oatmeal, on toast. You can use these to make pancakes. Use them waffles. Excuse me. We need. We needed Hold this on. to clean the carpet. I need to do something. Hold the. Because Carly please. constantly is peeing on the rug. Can you hold the <laughs> We're going to the movies tomorrow to see Spider Man. Not me. Well, Chase and Asha and Ken and I. Not me, because I'm so never invited. I bought my favorite milk duds, and I bought Reese's for Ken. They don't invite me to their I did invite you. You said you don't want to go. Why are you lying? Do we got so, a treat? We got Valentine's Look. Day treats. And Tobias gets, should he get a pink or a red one? Pink. Are you kidding yeah. me? <laughs> I can't believe he just doesn't eat it. He's just licking it. Get Bean. Bean wants one. Here, go put, go put Toby over there and give it to him and bring Bean. Oh yeah, there you go. Cause Bean's a little piggy wiggy. Aww. He's getting crumbs in here. I don't know. Okay. I'm just always afraid they're gonna eat my, oh, Toby's still eating his. Did they get them? They all got one? Yep. But we got an alleg crocodile. What's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Know. Well, one of the two. Oh. 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 Dax. They can never do both have one. They need the same one. Why are you barking? Shaggy can't even hear, but he sometimes just chooses the oddest times to start barking. I got more cat treats. I'm not out yet, but I still have like quite a bit left. But we don't go to the store that often, not so the winter. <laughs> I just decided to get more and not these. But these have a combination of different 
flavors. So there's some chicken, catnip, and cheddar in here. And then there's shrimp. My mom bought this for me. Collagen gummies because my hair falls out. You don't want to take the powder, right? No. I don't want to take the powder because I don't drink anything other than water and Diet Coke. And that and Diet Coke doesn't sound very good. Then I got a new Lufa? loafa. Lufa. <laughs> Dax wants it. Banana bread. What would you even call it? Belvita. They're squishy. Belvita. They're like little, I don't know. But I also wanted to get these because have you ever had baked? Yeah, pretty good. A lot better than the original. Yeah. Peanut butter M and M's and sour punch bites. This I like to keep this in my office on my desk, which is. I wonder if Carly's gonna get mad. You can have a fourth a cup of this for 200 calories. So. I had one of these that I got from Costco probably this like oh. four or five oh, months ago that lasted me months. I'll just take a little handful and I don't know, it just curbs that little bit of chocolate craving that women get. And I shouldn't like I don't get stereotype that. us, but it happens to a lot of us. Not me. Mm. I got a new towel because this one is extra large. Tell them why. <laughs> Tell them what happened. You didn't even know bigger towels existed. I did. I knew you and Dad got them. Oh. Uh. Because, I don't know, I just feel like I always remember you saying that shopping for towels and getting the, the only big ones. The oversized ones, <clears throat> yeah. But I was taking a bath in my mom's bath and my towel was all the way upstairs, so that's an issue <laughs> and I just took a towel from the closet and it was a big one but it was pink and it's in my bedroom and just the whole pink towel thing isn't gonna work for me so I got a green one and then I just got a green rug because the rug that I have it's just not, not what color is it it's dark brown um. and it like when you just go to vacuum it I like coming home and giving the dogs stuff. Yeah. So guys, it's the next day. I'm in here in the bathroom just doing my makeup. We're getting ready to leave to go to the movies with Chase and Asha. I just painted my nails a new color I got from OPI. I forget what it's called. I have it linked in my little nail store thingy on Amazon. And uh, I was just getting ready to do my eye makeup and I thought I would share something with you guys. I cannot remember for the life of me who told me this tip. But if you have hooded eyes, which I had upper and lower blepharoplasty surgery, gosh, I don't even remember how many years ago. I actually have a video where I talk all about it from a long time ago, but um, basically hooded eyes is when this part of your eye like comes down and covers your eyelids. So it doesn't really look like you have an eyelid. And then the lower part is when you have these like big poofy fat pockets that I had removed. For the lower, it's kind of nice because they can just pull your eye down and do the surgery from the inside, which is the best way to do it. Some doctors don't do it that way. But for the upper, they literally like slice your eye, take out skin, sew it back together to try to get more of your eyelid to show. And if you watch like my older videos before I had the surgery, you can really tell the difference between pre and post surgery. Well, here it's been many years later and it's actually something that some women end up 10, 12, 15 years later getting the surgery done a second time. I personally will not get it done a second time. It was a lot mentally to recover from and especially now that Anxiety is something that I have to deal with when it comes to pretty much anything in my life. There's, I just sit here and think there's no way. Like how I felt back then to go through it now with my anxiety, I would probably lose my mind. You can't watch TV, you can't look at your phone, you literally can't do anything for days while your eyes are recovering. So as time has gone on, I mean you can still see my eyelids, but it's not quite as good as what it was when I first had the surgery. And you know, you can tell the difference between when you're like this, relaxed, 
or you're like expressive, you know, you can see the difference, right? So a lot of people when they have like an eyeshadow palette like this and they're sitting there putting eyeshadow on, they put it all over the lower part of their eyelid. Well, this girl, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, someone on Instagram said that a tip for, there's two tips for hooded eyes. One, take whatever like your base color is going to be, like your darker color. Say I take this one right here. I already did it, so I don't want to do a whole bunch more. But you kind of almost create an effect where your eyelid gets lifted a little bit by putting this darker color only up above, like the area that you can see, only up above your eyelid and kind of just keep going back and forth until it's blended in. You don't want to go all the way up to the eyebrow, but kind of just give it this lifted effect. Then you want to take, and I just use the same brush, I just flip it over. Then you want to take your lighter color and pack that in on your eyelid, which is going to make it look a little bit bigger and brighter. Then the third trick is most people wear eyeliner. Not everybody, but whether you're creating an eyeliner effect with your eyeshadow or with like a pen or a marker like this, you want to get your eyeliner as close to your eyelash line as possible. So basically what I do is I actually, it's going to be hard to do and to, to talk, so I'll, I'll tell you and then I'll show you. I get this like I'm literally trying to like put it right underneath my eyelashes. So I'm almost like getting it right on my eyelash, but creating a really little bit of, an, of a line, right? For the longest time, I would put it up above. I would almost go like this, and then I'd come back and I would fill it in, and next thing you know, I've got a pretty thick line. And what happens then is like if I was like this and looking at someone, and you're seeing this really thick line that is taking up like I was going to say square footage. It's taking up space on your eyelid that should not have eyeliner on it because that's making it look smaller instead of bigger. So you're almost like, wow, you don't need, you didn't even really look like you put eyeliner on because you just literally put it over your lash line. But see the difference between my two eyes? I use the Sky High Mascara by Maybelline and this is Sex Kitten by Tarte, by the way. And this is tart too. Just says power bar. So see the difference? Just a little tip for you guys. Hello, folks. Here's the real blockbuster. Raise yourself. You might want to sit down. Spider-Man's real. Spider-Man's real man. All right. So we went to go see Spider-Man. No way home. Yep. Is that what it's called? On my way home. <laughs> and I thought it was really, really good. Um, Why? I definitely skipped a couple movies in there in terms of like watching all the Marvel movies in order. So, but it all still made sense. It didn't matter that I haven't seen like Eternals or what's the one called, Chase? Shang-Chi. Yeah, I haven't seen that one well, yet. Shang-Chi is not Spider-Man though. I know, but it's... Oh, in the series Marvel. of events, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. So, what did you think of Spider-Man Chase? It was good. What, what do you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? 8.5. What? 8.5. What Why? do you give it? 10 out of 10. 10? You would never be a good movie critic. You can't give a perfect score. I'm a very you, good critic. Did, did, did you cry? Yes. She sobbed. No. That was here in her <laughs> she sobbing? Yeah. I did not sob. At the end? I just, every uh, single time I heard you breathe, it was like a bunch of snot. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. Were you crying cause he, because of the whole at the end thing with the, yeah. the chica? Oh, brother. No, I cried in another part, too. Oh, I can't say it would give a spoiler. Oh. What did you think, Asha? I liked it a lot because I love Zendaya and Tom Holland in them together. Yes. Zendaya? But otherwise I liked it and I thought it was good and I just I really like the only reason I really want to watch it because it's Tom Holland and Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well that's that. not the only reason I, I always go see all the Marvel movies. I really like Avengers but I'm still a little bitter over um, Iron Man like taking himself out of the movies. It's, yeah. He was well, my he was, favorite. It was like perfect timing because his contract was done and Iron Man was supposed to die anyway. He's the best character out of all of them. I'd debate that with anybody. Anytime, any funny. day. It's not just about being funny. 
I just love the like Tony Stark technology stuff, like all the advancement. Like I don't know, just like his character interests me the most. His outfit. Tell me any of the superheroes that have better outfits than him. Batman. Spider-Man. No way. Anyways, the new what Batman's coming ridiculous? out in March, and I want to go see that too. She put it in her calendar for crying out loud. I did. March 4, twenty twenty two. Like it. Fourteenth, I think. I don't like any of the DC movies because they're kind of like. Not very fun. Cause they have like, an electric charge to them. DC, yeah. AC. Yeah, I don't like DC movies yeah. that, as much, I should say. Mm -hmm.